Another technique that we have developed is the ability to make a 3D out of only one image. So it's the single image reconstruction. Okay, so we are going to explore the various tools that Montaigne's SEM gives us in order to get the 3D rendering out of only one SEM image. So we are going to explore a few tools together and the first one is going to be the tool to use luminance as information. So again, we are going to go to operators and click on single image reconstruction. Note that the single image reconstruction has no metrological value since we are only making the reconstruction out of one image. However, we, yeah, you can decide to define the XY scale on your image or to give the approximate height range of your sample in order to get a rough ID of the, the, uh, the size of your image or the size of your elements on the image. So here we are going to tick use luminance as information and we can see that the rendering that we have on the right is pretty nice. In fact, the software is going to consider that dark uh, areas are going to, to be deep on the image and the, that whiter uh, elements are going to be higher on the image. So here we have the perfect example to use this kind of technique since we have a very dark background and brighter elements. So I'm going to click on OK and we can see the 3D rendering of, oops, sorry about this, the 3D rendering of the surface, which is pretty nice if we consider the fact that it's only one image. Now we are going to load another image and explore another technique that Montaigne's SEM gives us. And this time, we are going to use the shape from shading technique. You know, the one that we were using with the four quadrants, but except that this time we are going to apply it only on one image. So again, I'm going to operators and I'm going to use the shape from shading technique in this case. The software is going to automatically detect, well, not automatically since we are going to give an approximate direction of the beam, but the software is going to detect where the beam of the electrons was coming from. So in this case, um, we've got the impression of the light coming from this direction. So I'm going to take either this box or this one. I would take this one. And I'm going to click on OK and again to check at the results. And again, I'm going to exaggerate a bit the Z height, but I'm pretty happy with the results that I'm getting. And the last example is going to be to use um, an object as a reference in the image. So again, I'm going to load another image and to use the same function. Oops, single. And this, this time I'm going to tick multiple objects. And I'm going to define the, the size of one object on the image. And basically the software is going to, from this reference point, it's going to try to find the other elements on the image, the other objects, and to guess their size and volume also. Here we can see that the result is also pretty nice considering the fact that we have a lot of elements on this single image. So again, I'm going to click on OK and to check out the results. And I think it's again, once again, pretty nice results.